Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. My name is Jillian, and today, as you guys can see from the title, it is going to be a meal prep video. So I'm gonna be meal prepping two different healthy meals. Now, I've been trying my very best to meal prep as much as possible, just because it makes my life a little bit easier, and also it keeps me on track to wanting to eat healthy and not eating out. And it also saves me money, because then I'm not tempted to go out and pick up lunch or get fast food. So definitely helps me out a lot. So this time around, I'm gonna be making two different dishes. I'll be making a chicken and like broccoli stir fry with some sweet potatoes. And then I also will be making some chicken meatballs with rice. And then I also made some green beans. And I think that is it, if I can remember correctly. So those are the two meals that I will be making. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe I gave you guys some ideas to meal prep for yourself and your family. So let's go ahead and jump right into today's meal prep video. All right, you guys, so this is everything you're going to need for this recipe. If I forget anything, like I always do, I will show you guys, but you're gonna need some ground chicken. You can use ground turkey, ground beef, whatever you want. Chicken stock. I'm gonna be making some quinoa instead of the cauliflower rice, because I'm not a big fan of cauliflower rice. Also, cheese of your choice. I'm gonna be using some shredded mozzarella, some hot sauce, and then seasoning of your choice. This is all the seasoning. I'm gonna be using some onion salt, garlic powder, some pink Himalayan salt, paprika and pepper, and then you'll need a lemon as well. So again, if I forget any of the ingredients, I'll just let you know as I am cooking, but this is everything that I think you'll be needing. So the first thing I'm gonna be doing is making the meatballs. So I'm gonna go ahead and season it with all the seasonings I previously showed you. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of mozzarella and just mix all that up. And on accident, I did delete the footage of me making the meatballs like rolling them up so you guys don't see me doing that but i did roll them up and then now i'm going to rinse off some quinoa and make a cup of quinoa in my instant pot it's really quick to make it in the instant pot rather than the stove i like to make it in the instant pot because it's just so much quicker so i'm going to go ahead and let that cook in the instant pot and i only put it on there for about two minutes and you will see we've got all right, you guys, so this is for recipe number two. Actually, these green beans is going to go with my first recipe. I completely forgot that I want to make green beans also, so I just pulled them out and I'll be making them as well. But that's for the rest first recipe. Everything else is for the second one. So we're gonna need some chicken breast of your choice, some broccoli. You're also going to need a sweet potato or regular potato, whatever you choose, some olive oil, liquid aminos, or um, soy sauce, whichever you choose and then again, a bunch of seasoning. So this is everything that you will need for recipe number two. Now moving on to my next recipe, which is some chicken and broccoli like stir fry and then also some sweet potatoes. I'm gonna go ahead and peel my sweet potatoes and just chop all that up. I'm gonna season it with some olive oil and also some seasoning and then I did throw that in the air fryer for about 10 to 15 minutes depending on how much sweet potatoes you are making but usually 15 minutes is a good time frame for me so I put it in there and then I'm also going to go ahead and chop up all of my chicken season it put it on a skillet and I'm going to cook that up with some of my broccoli and also my liquid aminos. You can use any sauce you want but the recipe did call for soy sauce but I opted to use aminos. So I did use a full head of broccoli. I thought that would be enough, but I think next time when I make this recipe, I'll do two heads just because I felt like I did want more veggies. It wasn't enough broccoli, so two heads next time, but in this recipe, I did only use one. And then I am also making some green beans just because I wanted some green beans to go with the first recipe that I made. I just completely forgot to make that. So I also made some green beans and I seasoned it with some olive oil, same seasonings. And then I also threw that in the air fryer once the sweet potatoes were done and the green beans honestly only need to be in the air fryer for maybe about 10 minutes max So now that I am done chopping up all of my chicken, which was one and a half pieces of chicken breast, I'm gonna go ahead and season it and cook it up and add the broccoli, add my liquid aminos, and then I also decided to add a little bit of sriracha sauce just because I do like spicy. So I didn't add a lot, but just a little bit to give it more of a kick. 
my sweet potatoes were done so i went ahead and threw in my green beans for 10 minutes i think i put it on 350 and that was long enough for it to cook up now i'm splitting up all of the food in my meal prep containers i bought these meal prep containers from my local grocery store kroger but they do sell them at walmart and also target they come in a pack right now i am making the sauce for those chicken meatballs again i will remember to leave it linked down below just in case you guys are interested in trying this recipe i actually really like the way it turned out i'm definitely going to make this again so again i will leave the recipe down below but i'm just making that sauce for the meatballs and then i'm going to pull the meatballs out of the oven because i did cook them in the oven instead of cooking it on the stovetop and just mix it all up in the sauce <music> So these meatballs turned out perfect and I had exactly enough for four meatballs for each day, which was perfect. And then now that my quinoa is cooled off, I'm just measuring a cup and splitting that up between all four containers. guys so that is going to end my meal prep video for you guys so i hope you guys enjoyed it maybe i gave you guys some ideas for you and your family now these meals were so easy to make meal prepping does take time but it's totally worth it at the end to already have your meals in your refrigerator packed and ready for you so i like to meal prep enough for breakfast lunch and dinner i didn't feel myself doing breakfast but i usually would do breakfast lunch and dinner monday through thursday sometimes monday through friday so it just helps me stay on track like i said so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i also filmed myself um, making some healthy snacks so that'll probably be up next week early next week so definitely make sure you are subscribed if you want to see that because i did Two different healthy snacks because i have a huge sweet tooth and i love to if i have healthier options on hand then i will eat that instead of things that i'm not supposed to so hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did please remember to give it a thumbs up also subscribe and turn on your notification bell if you have not already i love you guys and i'll see you guys next time bye <music>